So you are either picking the warm colors, which is this half, or you're picking the cool colors, which is this half. So red, violet, red, orange, yellow, warm. Green, blue, indigo, violet, those are our cool colors. I'm gonna pick the warm color, so I'm gonna pick this half. So I gotta wake up my colors. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Red Violet, it's time to wake up. Add some water. I'm just dipping the tiptoes into the water, dipping the tiptoes onto it. I'm not pouring, I'm not scooping or scrubbing, just very, very gentle. So now I'm gonna start with a line. I could do horizontal, I can do vertical, I can do zigzag, I can do wavy, I'm just gonna pick a type of line. I could do diagonal if I want to. And I think I'm gonna do a wavy line that's also going diagonal. So I just have the tiptoes up on the brush. Now it looks like some of my color is running out. So I just dip the tiptoes in water, go back over, and I can fix that line so it paints all the way across. Now I'm ready to switch to my next color for warm, which is red. So if I just go back in here, all of that paint is still in my brush. So I need to wash and dry my brush when I'm switching colors. It's very important that you wash and dry when you're switching colors. Now, if I just go like this, it does nothing. It doesn't clean my brush. I have to go to the bottom of the cup and paint the bottom of the cup, wipe on the lip of the cup, dry on the paper towel, and then I go to red. So next is red. I have to wake it up, go back and forth. Hey, Mr. Red, time to wake up. Now my red line is gonna go right next to my other line. And those two colors are actually going to kind of mix a little bit. So I have the Tiptoe Ballerina paintbrushes. Need to go back in with my red. I'm not scrubbing, I'm being very gentle. So I'm painting right next to it. No white space in between. Get some more red. So if there's like a little white space, I need to go back and paint that. Wash, dry, paint the bottom of the cup, wipe on the lip, dry on the paper towel, wake up my next color, which is orange. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Orange, time to wake up. Now I'm gonna paint right next to my red with my orange. no weird white space in between. This is my last warm color, so I need to know that this is where I stop. So this is gonna be my last color, yellow. So my yellow gets mixed quite a lot, so I kinda like to make sure, go right back. Now look, I got some of my orange because I, I accidentally got some of the orange here into there. So we have to know how to clean these off if we mess up. For example, if I paint with my orange, there's orange in my brush, and then I go to my yellow, all of a sudden now my yellow's getting dirtier and dirtier and crubba jubba. So we need to know how to clean those if we accidentally make them too dirty. So if there's a ton of orange in your yellow, like that, here's how you clean it. You do not take a paper towel and start scrubbing in there. That's not gonna clean it off. That's just gonna ruin your paper towel, ruin your paint. So what you do is you get a nice clean brush, wash the bottom of the, the cup, wipe on the lip, and we're actually gonna wake up that color a little bit, add some water. We're gonna take that gross paint that's there and put it on our paper towel instead of our painting. So if we accidentally get paint there, that is how you clean it off. So I need to finish this yellow, now that I have it nice and clean. Finish the yellow to the end. And now, I have to jump back to the beginning because we're not doing the cool colors. If you picked warm, you're sticking with the warm colors. If you picked cool, you're sticking with the cool colors. So now I need to go back to my warm color. So I just keep going. Tiptoe ballerina paintbrushes, making sure there's no weird white space in between. Wash, dry, switch colors. Wash, dry, switch colors. Those colors are really gonna blend together if we make sure Yeah, the colors next to each other.
Now, if you want to, if you get finished like with one section, you can always kind of change up the direction that your lines go. So maybe I want to have a wavy line go up and down now. You can switch it up. I'm gonna wash dry, switch colors, and have it go right next to it. So if you don't want your, you could have your lines just go the same way the whole way, or you can switch it up every once in a while. 